whether in fact we haven't unwittingly broken the rules and whether we can't therefore make sure that the new clause moved by the Honourable Gentleman is not moved. introduced by the Honourable Gentleman but not moved has an opportunity for debate if it's possible at a later proceedings and not today. Order. Um, I think I should first of all say that the term acting speaker is certainly not in the standing orders. <laughs> Under, under standing order 83, subsection C, um, the, the wording is question on any amendment, new clause or new schedule selected by the Speaker for separate decision. That is clear on that. And then in, in subsection 3, on a motion made for a new clause or a new schedule, the Speaker shall put only the question that the clause or schedule will be added to the bill. Uh, I don't believe that there is any further scope for argument about that matter. And otherwise, otherwise I would say, the Honourable Gentleman, that we have the term... Well, there, I have said to the Honourable Gentleman, uh, and I've said it on advice, that no breach in procedure has been made in the course of this evening's proceedings. And I hope that the Honourable Member would accept that ruling from the Chair and not further question. If he, would see, if he seeks to challenge uh, what has been said, I suggest that he writes a letter to the Speaker, but I do not believe that anything incorrect has taken place at any stage this evening. Order. Mr Deputy Speaker, you said, and you were correct in saying so, that 